Good morning guys, today is officially moving day. I'm moving to uni today. I'm going to Oxford Brooks University and I'm moving today and I'm so nervous. So I'm gonna show you what our like packing process is. It's like currently half 10. We've just got back from shopping, food shopping. We did a massive, I'm out of breath. We did a massive food shop and it cost 200 pounds. Okay, so this is the current situation. We've got bags in a bag there. These are all my toiletries. There's so much stuff in there. I might have to bring some stuff back if there's not enough room. These are like electronics sort of things. I need to sort out my laptop, my chargers and stuff still. This is like stationery and then I've got some mirrors and stuff in there. This is in here. This is shoes. Look how many shoes I'm taking. And then a couple of clothes there. Okay, and then these are all of the things that we just bought from shopping. My mum's gonna sort through them now and make sure that they're like easy to unload. And then here is all of my like washing stuff, my shampoos, conditioners, things that we've bought to take and that box as well. And then we've got kitchen rolls. These we were gonna take to put on my shelves but we just found these ones in Tesco. So not gonna take these ones anymore. And then these two suitcases here are full of clothes. So much stuff, isn't there, mum? Absolutely. It's just ridiculous and I've actually like taken half of my stuff anyway, like all of the decorations and stuff that I bought. So like what the hell and then we've got alcohol of course we've got um vodka somewhere didn't we wherever that is oh yeah protein powder i need my i need to go through the kitchen we've got all this stuff that needs to be taken my mugs and stuff like that i need to go through the kitchen and take my food that like like because no one else eats this so i'm going to take things like this that are pretty full i need my chia seeds my flax seeds i need um, loads of stuff. Oh my god, this is so stressful. So I'm getting some stuff ready, just going around my room and like looking at everything to see if I need to take it and stuff like that. Um, and I've just realised that I need to take my pillows from my bed because I didn't actually buy any pillows because we've got so many at home so I can just like change out my pillows and my mum will put some old ones on my bed. So, I almost left for uni without pillows. How crazy is that? Like what would I have done? My mum would have had to come and given me like gone back home and got me pillows or something. I'm feeling so stressed right now, like ridiculously stressed. I just want to get there already, but then I kind of don't because I just want to like stay at home. I'm really scared to go. And hopefully I'm not the only one feeling like this. Like I just feel really nervous and really um, like scared to like see everyone, but not just that, it's like leaving my family. Like I've never lived away from home and I'm not very good at like leaving home like when I go on holiday I struggle um so hopefully I'll be okay so last night I was just packing and we went down to the pub as well um because we were just doing like a little send off for me and my friend Beth and then also Katie my friend who goes off to uni as well so yeah we did that last night but I also before we went I like shaved and exfoliated and washed my hair and stuff so that I was ready for freshers because that starts tonight and then this morning I woke up at seven o'clock to tan because I didn't actually need to wake up at seven o'clock um but my tan needs to be on for like at least three hours so now I'm waiting until 11 so that I can actually wash it off. And we're leaving, 11 is in like five minutes, so we're leaving, we're meant to be leaving at 11, but um, we won't. Goodbye to this sleepy boy. I'm going now. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, bless. Izzy gets really stressed when anybody like moves or leaves, or you can see she's a bit. Well, you can't really see actually. She's like panting. She's a bit stressed. Yes. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you so much. I hate saying bye to my animals. It's like the worst bit. It's so sad. Okay, so we've just left. Me and Charlie. We're coming in Charlie's car because he's got my like suitcases and then my mum's got all of the other stuff in her car. And Charlie's literally got to drop me off and go, haven't you? Yeah. And I'm crying because I don't want to say goodbye to my cats and Izzy and I couldn't find Bernie, my other cat. So I'm really sad about that. Hopefully I won't cry when I get there because I look like an idiot. Great. 
Okay, we've just got here. This is Charlie's car right now. We've got three cases to take and a box. Do you think we can do this, Charlie? We need to go and meet my mum ASAP. Here we are, his mum. Finally got a space here. That was a bit stressful, wasn't it? But we got our space and we're gonna unload everything now. I look absolutely hideous. I'm so sweaty. I'm literally dripping with sweat. Aren't you, Charlie? Yeah. Like we're both knackered, like I can't even breathe. But I'll show you what my room looks like right now. Okay, so this is my room right now. All of this stuff was already there from when I took it last time. And then I have two cases. There's one more there, boxes. Oh my God, plants over there. And then out here, there's like loads more stuff. Look at that, that's just ridiculous. But we did that in really good time, didn't we? It was like 20 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes. So that's good. Now we're gonna sort it all out and I'll show you what it's like afterwards. Hello. So we're making lots of progress here. Progress? Progress. Progress. That sound is so weird in my head. Um, We've emptied two suitcases full of clothes. We've just got to do this one now. Organising it all, even though it still seems very, very messy. It is getting there. We are getting there. We're just trying to set up my um, Echo, my Amazon Echo Dot, because we want to listen to some music. It's a bit boring, isn't it? And um, yeah, I'm on the Wi-Fi now. That took me like literally two minutes. I thought it was going to be really hard, but I'm going to go and set this up now. Again, it looks very messy, but it's been probably like an hour, mum, since I did the last clip. And we are making progress. All of that up there is organised. There's like loads of clothes in here. I'll go through it in a bit. And then we need to do that. Jumpers up there. We're just sorting out things in these boxes right now and then we're going to sort out this massive bag full of toiletries which is going to take forever i think and then this desk is so messy okay so we are finally finished this is what everything looks like the lighting is really bad right now because I haven't turned the lights on, but my bed is really cute. Got my drawers here, just random stuff. This is like my makeup and whatever. We've tried to organise it as well as we can. Over here is like my desk sort of area and then I've got stationery and stuff in there. And then put some lights around the mirror, lights around here, lights all around there. There's my mum. <laughs> Um, and then we've got in here, we've got toilet rolls and stuff up the top, clothes in there, towels, more clothes up here, like pants and socks, shoes all down there. And then we've put everything that I don't need underneath the bed. And now we're ready to go. And I'm feeling very sad now because my mum is going. It's going to be fine. Fine. This is, looks Hi guys, so it's been quite a few hours now. Me and my mum have basically just finished all my room. She's gone and oh, this is my new friend Bex. Hi. She <laughs> is so lovely. Mm. Honestly, she's made me feel so welcome and stuff because wow. I was literally so anxious earlier. I don't know I? about that. And now, yeah, no. We've yeah. all unpacked. Yes. We're all sorted. We are all unpacked. I'm in her room right now. Now it's time to go out. It looks lovely. We're getting our drinks. I've got two. One in my bag there. This is what I'm wearing right now. Just want oh, me to do it. Go on then, go on then. I want to get split that Tip me down. down. Tip that down. Oh. my outfit of the night. Got like a cow, what's it called? Cow, yeah, cow, cow neck. Cow yeah, neck. Body suit. Just some jeans because it's really casual. Oh, you've gone out of focus. Oh, it's a bit shit camera, so that's probably why. But it's alright. Alright, I'll see you probably tomorrow morning because I won't vlog anymore. It's super dark. It's two o'clock in the morning, so I'm trying to be really quiet right now. Um, but we basically got back really early, so we didn't want to have like a really late night out. Um, but we are going to bed now, everyone's in bed, and I am just getting into bed. Look how cosy this looks, honestly. I'm so happy with this, like you can dim this light, so there's like a switch, you can kind of see it there. And you can like dim it, so that like, it's really nice and cosy in here, like you can watch movies and stuff which is really cute. Oh, whoops, I'm in my pants. Literally so excited to get into bed though because I've had such a long day today. I'm surprisingly not feeling sad right now. I'm feeling really happy and like positive, which is really good. Um, yeah, hopefully I stay like this 
for the rest of the night because I have not slept without Charlie for like at least five months so yeah I don't know how this is gonna go I'm really nervous but hopefully I can sleep well I know that when he's been out before and I have been sleeping on my own for like a couple of hours before he gets back it's like the hardest thing ever and I can never sleep so hopefully it's fine and I can go to sleep anyway I'm gonna go to sleep now it's really annoying though because I don't know if you can hear that it's like the bathroom thing and it's like constant it's so annoying like I wish it would just turn off it's so annoying anyway good night let's see how this goes I'm gonna update you guys in the morning okay so I'm speaking really quietly because all of my flatmates are asleep I think but I'm just come to the kitchen it's about half ten and I woke up about half nine ish um, made myself a green tea and then here I'm gonna have some granola so this is like my setup right now I'm gonna have some granola with some yogurt maybe and um, hope that I feel better and I can eat this This is my breakfast, my throat is going, you can tell. I've got granola with um, Alpro yogurt, banana, cheese seeds, flax seeds and honey. And I might add a few nuts, but they're in my room and then my green tea, obviously. And I'm gonna go and sit in my room and eat this. Hi guys, so I'm in my bathroom right now. I thought I'd quickly just come on here to end the vlog and just, you know, give you a little bit of a debrief. So, I got here yesterday and I unpacked everything with my mum. I tried so hard to stay like strong and stuff. I am such a homely person. I don't like leaving home. I don't like being without my parents. I don't like being without Charlie. I am just so attached to all of them. It's crazy. And um, yeah, I kind of struggled a lot over this past night. I've only been here for one night and this morning I have really struggled because I just want to go home. I know that I can't do that. Like I know it's all part of the experience and everyone goes through this, but it's just so difficult, it's so hard. And anyone who goes to uni and says that it's just easy peasy, it's just like, they've got to be lying, surely, because this is so hard. This is literally the toughest thing I've ever done in my whole life. I've never experienced anything this hard. I thought that going to DV was the hardest thing I'd ever done, but this is 100% the hardest thing. You have to be completely independent. It's You have to do absolutely everything for yourself. And even though I was doing a lot for myself, I still had the comfort of my own home whilst I was doing it. So yeah, I've been struggling with that a lot. So hopefully I do settle in, hopefully I do make really good friends here, I'm really trying to push myself out there, even though I'm struggling a lot with that as well. Um, I'm just going to try and keep myself busy, I have probably already like put this on my Instagram or something like that, but I probably won't be uploading a video until the end of Freshers just because it drains you so much. I can already feel myself getting ill. But I've met some really nice people. I'm sharing a flat with eight girls. So yeah, it's really nice. I just need to get to know them and I need to get over Freshers, I think. I need to just get through Freshers, spend most of the morning, I'm not gonna lie to you, like I'm gonna be completely real through this whole uni process so that like people who are going through the same thing can like relate. Um, I spent the most of the morning on the phone to my mum crying because I just wanted to come home. Then I went outside with um, my friend and we just sat there and I cried to her again and it's like I am just the most emotional person ever. I am very um, like dependent on my family so this has just been so tough for me, honestly so tough. And I like, I always put out this like perception that I am so strong and I try to be, but I'm not, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna brush my teeth now, I'm going to the gym with um, some of the girls, and then we're gonna go into town. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna vlog the rest of the week, 
I'm gonna do like all of the uni sort of videos and stuff but I probably won't vlog any more of freshers. Anyway if you like this video then please let me know in the comments down below or on my Instagram which is Talisha Hill underscore. I usually upload new videos every Thursday and Sunday but like I said probably for a couple of weeks of uni I won't be uploading on schedule. I'll try and get some videos out but I won't be uploading on schedule so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Oh, 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 oh,